Did you see this guy? I know. Who's that? Yeah. Oh. I'm back. Oh, what's your name? I'm back. My name is Jeff Marr. Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. We missed Welcome. you, Jeff. Yeah, it's been a while. It's Jeff's been, a been while. on vacation. And, and, you know, we did ask you before you went to Colorado to look and see if you saw the smoke mm -hmm. from the fires. Yeah, uh, from the flight in, I didn't see any from the air. But when we went hiking on uh, Mount Evans, mm -hmm. you could see uh, some of the fires, some of the smoke. But the, really the heaviest smoke when I was out there was actually from uh, the Wyoming fire, oh. believe it or oh, not, I see. Uh, mm -hmm. coming in. Just inundated all of Douglas County. County on my last day there before flying out to Seattle and it was just really unbearable that the temperatures were in the hundreds yeah. out there and there just wasn't much relief but then flying from Denver to Seattle you're going into 70 degree weather and then coming out here it's back to the hundreds oh, again a little bit of so a little bit of everything but to show yeah. you how bad that fire was at Waldo fire just now they're saying it's hundred percent contained so when you left it wasn't I know and until the day you got back it wasn't they said it was gonna take a while Man. so quite some work out there yeah, yeah. And then I was checking my email on vacation and I was I was seeing that uh, there were some fires happening around our area, so Absolutely. that was a little concerning as well because we've been so lucky up to this point. Yeah, yeah. it works. You know, I guess you can just pick a birthday. Yeah, right? no, I mean, uh, I love Slurpees. I do too. It's just the sugar. Yeah. It's definitely a guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sugar. On a hot day, though, that can really it's make good, a though. difference for What's you. Do you have favorite? a favorite like flavor? I like cherry. Cherry? Yes. I have a blues. The whatever. Oh, you do? Blue yeah. raspberry. Like raspberry? Blue that, raspberry. That, that's yeah. good. Yeah. It's good stuff. It, it, it is something I had to give up uh, as, I, as I got older just because, it, like you said, the sugar is just packed. Yeah. And you didn't want to give up beer, so you gave up Slurpees. <laughs> you like Slurpees, exactly. beer. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Speaking of which, I gained eight pounds on vacation, so if you're seeing that, I apologize. Oh, I'm going to try to get it back. vacation. You're entitled. There's Mr. Jeff Mars. has been gone for a while, and it's time for some Mars moments. Feels weird being back after that long, after a week and a half. I know. Nice I said vacation. next time, Dan, it was good. five days. That's it. One yeah. week. That's all you get. Yeah, it wasn't technically a vacation because there was a lot of work involved helping my brother move. It wasn't like Dan's Cancun, you know, laying on the beach. I wish it was. <laughs> I'm due for one of those. At I some didn't point. gain eight pounds when I went on vacation, uh -oh. pal. One of the shows out there is one that Kiba goes to sleep to watching every night. What's it's that? Uh, Xena Warrior Princess, right? Yeah. Can't say that I. No, fan, you huh? don't watch that one? No. Okay. You've, oh, you've not heard of it? No. I, I, oh. You've never heard of Xena the Warrior Princess? I, I have some images in my head, but All right, it's well, she not... looks like. This. Let's see. See the picture oh, yes. there? Yes. Is it bringing back? A little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. reason I'm bringing this up is because there's a story trending out there about Xena Warrior Princess body armor. The U.S. military is actually in the process of developing armor similar to what Xena wears on the battlefield. Uh, and this is because they're trying to attract more female soldiers to join the front lines and also with the current body armor that females use out on the bat battlefield. It's, it's not very conducive to some of the more curvy women. Uh, it hugs on the hips and then the body armor is a little bit too long in the front. So they think by modeling it after what Xena wears that it may be, provide some more comfort. Uh, to those female soldiers uh, serving overseas. It might so. attract more female soldiers. <laughs> right. It would certainly attract more right. male soldiers if they if it looks look like, like this. Xena. Yeah. And if it will not look yeah. like that. No. Right. No. We'll see. <laughs> Come on, look at her. <laughs> we salute it. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, one of the videos out there that's trending is a little bit scary to watch. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but this is uh, getting a lot of views. This is from England. Take a look. All right, so that was a car accident. You just saw a guy fly oh, out of the sunroof whoa. of that vehicle. He was Look fighting with his girlfriend at the time. Let me see. Flies like out of the sunroof. Um, hello, seatbelt. And he just stands right up as if nothing happened, fixes his shirt. His girlfriend's in the car. Both are okay. The guy who falls out of the sunroof doesn't have a scratch on him. He lands on the lawn. I'm sure it helped that the car rolled onto a grassy lawn there, but... Boy, is he lucky. He's, yeah. The lawn got damaged more than the, the guy did. Mm. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. Caught on tape. That's amazing. Fighting with your girlfriend. Distracted driving. Uh, right, Kiba? Seat belt. <laughs> well, that and is distracted belt. driving. Yeah. You think maybe she was <laughs> suggesting how he proceed while behind the wheel? Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. I, I've learned. I don't mm -hmm. say anything. Don't anymore. say anything? I just close my <laughs> eyes. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of public pools at your disposal. But should you do it with a polar bear? <gasps> I don't know. This guy is. Okay, so let me explain because this is a trending video that has over 2 million hits. This is 60 year old Mark Dumas. He's a bear handler out of Canada. He goes for a dip with his 16 year old polar bear, Aggie. 
Dumas and his wife trained the 800-pound bear to star in TV commercials. In fact, this bear that you're looking at uh, was featured in the film Alaska when it was just a cub, really. Dumas has owned Aggie since she was six weeks old, and they just seem to really have fun in the pool there. Hopefully this doesn't end badly, but you know what? If he's had the bear for that long, he's mm -hmm. probably okay, but it's still probably scary. Okay. Still, no, it still scares you. It's yeah. a wild animal. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta wonder too, that water probably was kind of warm for the bear. Well, so I was just thinking, is it warm or is it actually cold? Well, the, the owner which... was in shorts, so I kind of assumed it might have been I, decent. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, either way, not yeah. something that I would do. Here's the deal. Okay. You don't text, you don't have your phone during yoga. That's supposed to be a relaxing, you're stretching, you're zen, you're, you're calm, and you're gonna take your phone out? That's just downright rude. Well, the student, uh, the worker at Facebook, she complained that she uh, felt that she had been made a spectacle of. Well, yeah, don't take your phone out. This is the stank eye, Dan. Oh, that's, oh, so that's a, a baby <laughs> I mean, stank eye? I mean, sort Boy, of. Well, they teach them young, don't they? <laughs> you get the point. My yeah. point is I get it, you know, but to be fired over that, there's rules. There's just, and it's courtesy. Yeah. You don't take your phone. That's like doing it during the movie and it's all dark and your phone lights up your whole area. It's just rude. I, I agree. Jeff, what do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody gave me stink eye on the plane coming back to Sacramento. What did you do? It was the flight attendant because she kept on having to remind your... me to turn off my yeah. phone. Yeah. That'll yeah. get you the stink eye. Because we all know that'll crash the plane if Jeff, you're don't get on started. the phone. Uh -huh. Those are the rules. Uh -huh. Yeah, those are the rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brother's a naval aviator, has flown several aircraft, texts while he flies, says it doesn't interfere with his, uh, oh, Jeff, Jeff. his flying. I'm just saying, you know, yeah. follow the rules, but I don't understand the rule. I just don't, I just want to put it out there. I don't get it. Okay, that's fair. Okay. But you got to follow. Yeah, I got to follow. I don't want to be an Alec Baldwin. I understand. No. I was having trouble finding a good stink eye picture, by the way. <laughs> that was the best um, you could do. I was asked to find one. I don't know if this is a stink eye. No. But I, I think the baby was better. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and it's uh, stank eye. Stank eye. S T A N K. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. Stank yeah. eye. Do you guys oh, remember this picture from uh, Time Magazine? Oh, yeah. The uh, controversial sure, sure. Breast, breastfeeding picture. Well, you have something to look forward to. Get your DVRs ready. There is a show in the works, a breastfeeding reality show that is now being developed. Don't tell me it's on the Viacom channel. I don't know if it's Viacom. Okay, because if, if it is, direct, direct TV, TV, we're out of luck. <laughs> right. uh, it's still in the early stages. It's about extreme attachment parenting which was a big deal earlier this year. Uh, it's being developed by Collins Avenue Productions. They produced such shows as Dance Moms, Dance Moms Miami, and Ice Moms, all of which I've never heard of. Have you never guys heard, heard of that? any of them? Uh -huh. no. Okay, well anyway, that's in the works, so we'll see what that's all about. I assume it has to do with uh, parents who continue to breastfeed even when the child becomes a toddler. Okay. Another story that is getting a lot of traffic out there, and I'm hoping that we sent someone to oh, Lake Tahoe to cover this. Yeah. If not, maybe we will today. Uh, this yacht, this $3.2 million yacht in Lake Tahoe sank. I believe that was Monday, late Sunday night. Witnesses said they heard screeching, the sound of tearing metal, and a passenger yell, oh no, this has its own helicopter pad. Uh, remains partially submerged. Uh, private contractors should remove it within the next few days. They still don't know what caused this to sink, but you can go up to it and look at it. You can see uh, floating leather couches, flat screen TV, oh, no. floating mm. slices of bread. So somebody was having a good party there. I think that's this the weekend, South and then Lake Tahoe down. area, the Tahoe Keys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, in the Lake Tahoe Marina okay. is all it says. Oh, okay. So that's uh, something that I thought was pretty interesting and hopefully something we'll go check out ourselves. Wouldn't mind it's not that, that far assignment. to drive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 82 degrees up there, so there might be a, a fist fight in the newsroom over who gets to cover that story. Today. Yeah, that would be a good assignment. Wouldn't be bad. You know, uh, when we look at videos online that are trending with YouTube, typically we don't see police officers doing anything stupid. It's usually criminals doing something stupid. In this case, some police officers did something really dumb. Take a look. All right, this is just outside of Orlando. The officer who is chasing this car in the middle of a high-speed pursuit, she saw this car driving erratically, and so she uh, attempted to pull it over. The, this is in Claremont, just outside of Orlando. The police officer is Christina Fowler. This is dash cam video. She pulls over the driver, draws her weapon because the driver acts like he's going to run. 
And, and then he starts laughing, and then she realizes, oh, it's one of her fellow officers who decided to pull a prank on her and decided to do this mock chase. No. So she didn't even know. See, he, look, he gets out, he pretends to run, and then he's laughing hysterically. Well, uh, she, re she recognized that it was a fellow officer, and there were two other officers from Claremont PD in there. So Where's the humor in this? There is no humor. Exactly. It's yeah. what really dangerous. They were going funny? 90 miles an hour. They thought yeah. it'd be funny. But now the officer who was driving the car lost his job. The passenger officer lost his mm. job. Another officer got suspended. So she was just trying to do the right thing to pull somebody over. And then you saw that movie, Super Troopers. Did you guys see it? It came out, uh, I think, in the early 2000s. And there's a scene in there where the officers pull a prank on another officer. Uh, mm. Leading him on a high-speed chase. This doesn't seem so, funny. No, it's it was dangerous. very dangerous, very dangerous. Somebody could have gotten really hurt in that. Starship Troopers, but I never saw Super Troopers. Super Troopers, Super yeah, Troopers. you might want to check it out. Google okay. that. Yeah, okay. it might be on Directv. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.